Guys, I'm really happy to be with people who've been in space. Uh, How's uh, it out there, guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cold. Cold. Yeah. Wet. Wet, strangely. <laughs> quite a lot. Like, Snowy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you've not just gone there, you also got lost. How yes. How did that happen? Yes. It's a terrible tragedy. I don't know. We were, we, the sat nav broke on us, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Okay, guys, for people who have not seen this and people who want to know, tell them what Lost in Space is all about. Lost in Space is really about a family right. that are trying to go. Earth has become an uninhabitable right. um, for various reasons. And they are, they have, humankind has set up a colony or is trying to set up a colony in Alpha Centauri. Right. And there's this Exodus program where certain families who hit criteria, certain criteria can travel and go to create this colony. Yeah. And the Robinsons are on this, and an event happens on the, on, in transit to the, the colony, and they end up millions of light years away from Earth on a hostile, crash landing on a hostile planet. Is it, we get to see you, the eventual, the final result. Mm. How is it on the set where, for a show like this? Is it a lot of green screen? You know, it was it was a combination. When they first approached me about doing the show, I assumed, erroneously, that because it was sci-fi, we would be on a stage all the time and green screen. But in fact, the writers really had uh, imagined this. Um, they really wanted a kind of like dirt under your fingernails adventure. Right. So we shot on location around. Um, in and around Vancouver, Canada, but like up on top of mountains in the snow and rain and you shot on a glacier and it was uh, beautiful and I think it makes the show have a really big cinematic quality to it. Uh, but the truth is it was quite uh, grueling. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So it's also about this family that stays together. It, the show does show a lot of family values, how when you're isolated, uh, there may be a lot of differences, but you manage to stick together. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the Robinson family. Well, I mean, I think one of the reasons that we were both attracted to the project initially was that the family felt like a real modern family. Right. It had... It's, it's dysfunctional, not in a depressing and dark way, right. but it is dysfunctional like any normal family is. Right. There are problems. They have problems. They have issues and right. things. And it wasn't trying to sort of lecture people about how to be as a family. It was just right. saying, this is, this is what this family is. Right. And it's aspirational in that they're trying to solve their problems. Yeah, Not, there's a lot of heart. So yeah. to interrupt, but I mean, there's so much heart, I think, at the center of this show. So it, it operates on that big, you know, it's quite spectacular right. in terms of the visual effects and the, mm. and the, uh, the locations. But at the heart of it, it are these people who are desperate mm. to give their children a better life. Right. And that does seem to me to be something that people can relate to all over the world. Right. You guys are seasoned actors. How was it working with the kids? Horrible. <laughs> no. No, 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 they're so sweet, these yeah, kids, yeah. you know? It's not always great working with kids. Yeah, it can be difficult. It can be difficult. Their parents can sometimes be the most difficult. Right. <laughs> but these children are uh, yeah, just exceptional, smart, and they come from really, really talented. wonderful, loving families. Yeah. So... And also, you've said it, but they they have so much enthusiasm right. for making a show like this mm. because it's it's about play, right. you know. And we they built this massive set, the right. spaceship, the Jupiter that we we mm. and the ki you know Max who plays right. the right. Will Robinson between takes he would like run into the cockpit oh, so and pretend he's, he's flying. Yeah. He's, he's like a real yeah. kid, you right. know. If I happen to go there, what are the few things I should take with me? A very warm, <laughs> very warm clothes. Yeah, an umbrella. Something that's waterproof. <laughs> You're not gonna, yeah, it's very wet there, I'll tell you, that, <laughs> on this planet. And um, I don't know, maybe one of those... Uh, Snacks to eat. Some, yeah, some lots of food, yeah, some good like food. a really delicious, yeah, yeah Candy. fruit. Some sweets, yeah. <laughs> Great, guys, you've had it rough. Thank you. Glad no. you went before all of us. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. It's Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you, guys. Nice